Hello and thanks for joining us on SoundersFC.com. My name's Ross Fletcher and this is the CenturyLink Scouting Report. Seattle at FC Dallas this Wednesday at 6 o'clock. It's the final regular season meeting of the teams and FC Dallas are a team right now who look like another lock for a playoff spot in the Western Conference. Their coach Oscar Pereja has done a really good job, rather like his last two years at Colorado, He's bled the youth into the system and they have performed magnificently. FC Dallas are 13, 10 and 6. They're nine points clear of that red line above and into the playoff places. But the last time they met Seattle at Toyota Stadium, it was a minor classic. Seattle roaring back from behind to win 3-2 and exposing FC Dallas at the back. What the home team have done really well this year though is inject lots and lots of pace into their attacking play. There's a triumvirate we need to talk about. Andres Escobar, the flying right winger, Fabian Castillo on the left-hand side, and then the rookie striker, Tesho Akindeli. Castillo has really been the man this season. Nine goals and four assists. He's been white hot. And really, for me, he's found the consistency that he's lacked over the past few seasons. He loves taking players on, you might remember him, giving DeAndre Yedlin a tough old time back in April. And he's added that goal scoring prowess to his locker this year. He's frightening when one on one in situations along the back line. Throw in Akindeli, who scored a hat trick in that memorable 5 0 win for FC Dallas at San Jose earlier in the season. And you've got a young, raw, exciting prospect. Escobar has come over from Europe, and after a back injury to start the season, he himself has found some decent playing time. So for me, it's how Seattle's back line and midfield will deal with the pace of FC Dallas if they're to get another victory on the road. Dallas have really been storing up for this game. In their most recent match at the weekend at LA Galaxy, they rested Fabian Castillo and also their reliable centre-back Matt Hedges. It was something of a makeshift lineup for FC Dallas. They didn't get the result they lost in the end, but they should be firing on all cylinders for this match. It was a makeshift back line. That may be their weakness this week, depending on how their injuries go, aside from the fact they've lost George John for the entire season because of continued knee problems. So if you want to watch the Sounders at FC Dallas, it's a six o'clock start this Wednesday. We'll have the TV call for you on Joe TV, and we're looking forward to hopefully another rousing Sounders away performance. I'm Ross Fletcher, and that's your CenturyLink Scouting Report here on soundersfc.com.